I learned something from this one when he uh, when he mentioned something about. I like that. I'm gonna have to use that one. Yeah. Hey everybody, Coach Levy here with Primeletics. Today we're gonna to be talking about footwork. So footwork is so important for elite athletes. Like, if you ever watch any elite athlete that excels at their sport, it's one of the main reasons is that their footwork is great. So today, I'm gonna to be taking you through the Jab Step series. So this is the beginning series of the Jab Step and just showing you the basics and the fundamentals of how to get started to make your scoring more efficient and easy. So today, I have well-known All-American Devontae Friga with us. About to start his pro career, he's going to be playing mock defense and showing, and showing you guys and helping me out and how to get this footwork series started. All right, so the first part in the jab step. So first things first, as a basketball player, you got to try to compute a thousand things at once. So when you're coming down the court and you grab the ball, so when you, if you're catching the ball on the wing or you're coming down dribbling the ball, the first thing you need to do is survey the court. Active feet good. So the first thing I'm doing, I'm gonna have Devontae in the stance. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm surveying the floor right now. I'm surveying the floor. I'm seeing where my teammates are, where the defenders are, so imaginary defenders out here, and I'm seeing where the help side defense is coming from. So once I figure that out, then I'm gonna take a look at his stance. So right now his stance is kind of neutral. I don't really have a way to go. Like he's not giving me any way. So now my thing is I need to pick away. So that comes back to figuring out where the defenders are. So if I figure that this guy is helping a little bit more than this defender and I can get to the middle a little bit easier, I'm gonna try to make him open up this way so I can get straight to that lane. Now, key thing to remember, right now I'm showing it to you for a one-on-one -on -one purpose. Like if you got kind of a breakdown in a mismatch, Normally, you would try to get that man to either commit or if they don't, you score. If not, you kick it out. So right now, he's neutral. So I need to open him up. So as soon as, as, soon as I grab the ball, I'm in my stance. I'm shifting him and I'm going. So I just want to jab. As soon as I jab, he opens his foot up. See how he dropped that foot back? As soon as he drops that foot back, that's when I have my length. Now, important thing too, if he's like this, I can just go diagonal because he's going to drop it back. Now, if he's kind of back there a little bit, drop that foot back. If he's kind of back there, now I want to jab step diagonally towards him. So I want to drop step here and make him open up even more that exact way. Because if your defender doesn't open up, boom, you go boom right by him and you're straight to the, to the bucket. So first thing, like we said, break it down again. Get it right here. If his foot's far, if it's far by me, I'm going to the outside and then I'm going. If he's already dropped back, I'm going and jabbing right at that foot diagonally to make him open up, all right? And then I'll have the clear path to the lane. Now, another key point. Whenever you're attacking somebody in that stance, the first, another thing that you wanna do, you wanna attack a shoulder. I can't just go out here. He's an elite defender. If I just go out here, he's gonna stay with me. I have to literally drive the ball like I'm trying to run through his shoulder. So I'm right here, I'm trying to go through his shoulder. Now, he may, he may stay in front of me, and I may have to use another move, but that initial jab got me to where I need to go. Even getting right there to the paint, that's a good start. Now, the second part I want to talk about, so say, say you open him up with a jab, but he stays in front of you. Boom, you open him up with a jab. Now I get the ball back. Now I know. I just came down the court. The jab step really didn't work. I had to pass the ball. Now what we're going to do, we're going to try to pin either leg. So again, you pick a leg, and not, but I always have to pick a lane first. Pick a lane, a side of the lane that I don't want to attack. If I, so now I just drove middle. This middle defender is helping. Now I want to kind of open them up to this way. So right foot, right foot planted, left foot, left foot is out. So boom, I'm jabbing. Now I'm going cross, cross jab because I know, I know he can stay in front of me. So boom, I'm going. He's, he set, I sell the move. Now I step over and I pin his leg so he can't get in front of me anymore. As soon as my foot is right here, there's no way physically possible that he can get by me without picking up his foot. And at that time, I'm already gone to the hole. 
So you have to be very careful with this move. I see a lot of high school kids and college kids doing it, and it's a travel because they step and they pick up that, that pivot foot before putting the ball down. You have to put the ball down as soon as you get there. So when I'm coming, fast motion, I'm here, I'm stepping, and then I'm, I'm going. If, I, if you still have both feet planted on the ground and then dribble, it's not a travel. So that's a key point to this. So step, come over, boom, and now you're home free. Third move that we're gonna work on, we're gonna work on the shimmy. Shimmy is big, uh, who's Jimmy Butler. He freezes Wanamaker with that head and shoulder fake and then. If you watch, if you watch the NBA Finals, you'll see a ton of times that he's, he's freeing himself up because of his shimmy. But you have to sell the move. Any of these jab moves, you have to sell. You do 100% at the jab step, you got 0% effort that you had to put in when you're getting to the cup. So, because it's gonna free you up. The harder you sell the jab, it's gonna free you up. But if you put in 50% at the jab, your defender's gonna be right there, it's gonna make it even harder to score. You probably won't score. So with the shimmy, same thing we've been saying. I pick a spot on the floor. I'm looking at my defender's stance. I'm attacking one shoulder. So now I say that I wanna go, I wanna go back over to the left. So with the shimmy, I have my right foot planted and I'm going to the left. So I step over, try to make them shift, and then I come back, and then I come back again. But make sure before you pick up that foot, you put the ball down to the ground. So in fast motion, the shimmy is coming, I'm coming over, and I'm going straight through. Sell the moves with your feet and your eyes. When you're looking at something, your defender has no idea what you're looking at. So if I sell the shimmy to the right, but I know I wanna to go to the left, he's still gonna bite on it. So I'm coming over here, Boom, right by your defender. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for today's video on the jab series. So if you have any questions at all, make sure you comment below or send us a DM. I promise we will answer all questions that you have. Let us know if you need anything. We will get back to you as soon as we can. We, all we want is for you to become better at this game. And big special thanks to Devontae for being here today helping us out with our jab series. Elite defender, by the way. I know you guys seen this dude light up the court, but he's an elite defender. You got anything you want to say? No, nah, I mean, hey, definitely. Uh, I, I learned something from this one, uh, the leg trap. I didn't even know that. I, you know, I use the move. I use my first step all the time. But this is, this is the one that I was, you know, when he, uh, when he mentioned something about kind of like jabbing. I, he didn't jab this way, but this is how I would do it, right? I'm jabbing this way and making him come this way. I, I like the whole leg trap idea because he, Brought him here, then brought it back. I like that. I'm gonna have to use that one. Yeah. We'll use it. You seal that leg, there's no way they can get by you without following you. And then you're home free. Unless you unless the defender set or help side steps up and you kick it out right to your teammate. So if you like I said, if you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know. Uh Devontae's information will be in the description. And as always, apply pressure.